Sup, homies. Today we're gonna review the rival finisher. I haven't seen a review on this. I found it at my local store. Uh, we're gonna give it a review. Uh, I actually don't know what to think about this. Uh, but it looks cool. Let's give it that review then. Okay, sup, homios and Juliets. We're gonna get into this. So this is the rival finisher. Uh, it's got a quick load magazine. They actually call it a magazine this time, not a clip. <gasps> That's pretty epic. Seven rounds, uh, Nerf Rival, uh, 90 FPS. Uh, epic things on the side. Let's look at the back. Yeah, it's pretty Gucci. You can do things with it. Um, yeah, let's get into the, the unboxing, I guess. Okay, let's take a look at it. It's got a nice grip, nice front trigger, I believe. That, yep, that is the safety. Very, very accessible. Prime feels smooth as hell. Comes with eight of these, or seven of these balls. So, oh crap, ooh. Oh, oh god, they're everywhere. Uh, let me load them into my uh, magazine, but with a twist. Check this out, boys. Um, put this magazine in. Um, hmm, hold on, guys. I think, uh, um, how do you speed load it? I'm gonna have to take a look at the instructions, guys. Okay, so after looking at the instructions for two seconds, it's just a door here that it's kind of hard to, to get. Uh, basically, it's a thing right here. Slide it down, uh, and then that'll put it down. That'll lock into place. Then you can just put balls inside. Get good at this. Uh, yeah, and then, I guess you'd s slide the door up. Yeah, there you go. Epic magazine. You got the magazine release right here. Pretty, pretty good. It's kind of angled a little bit, but it's kind of nice at the bottom. You got a tack rail here, even though not too many tactics. This is a jam reset, or this is a prime reset, so hold this down, we can prime it again, and that's just like clue jams, so whatever. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Did I, did I break it? Okay, cool. Uh, Let's get into the fighting demo while I try to fix this. Okay, so I'm gonna be shooting uh, the finisher uh, from about 15 feet away. Let's see how I do. Okay, let's get started.
Okay, so I tried it with the 12 round magazine. And something I found is that when you put it in, um, kind of jiggles around a bit. Uh, and unfortunately, unless you hold this in like that, um, or like push it in uh, before you prime every time, it doesn't fly because it's it's not like the inner mechanism is not catching this little tooth. Uh, whereas if you look at this one, um, just completely tight in there. Um, could be my magazine, could be this blaster, I don't know. Uh, unfortunately I couldn't tell you. Um, but yeah, I guess we're gonna get into the final thoughts then. Okay guys, so my review on the Rival Finisher, I think it's an amazing pistol that you can use. Um, the seven round mag is actually more like an eight round mag. It's a bit compressed as you can see, like, um, but like, if you notice with just seven, it goes down a good amount, so it definitely easily holds eight. Um, it doesn't hold nine, but it's good. Uh, so in eight rounds capacity, it's almost twice the colors. Uh, and I think it's a smoother pistol. Um, better grip in my opinion. I feel like the rounded off grip makes it more comfortable. Trigger's nice. Safety is just a quick. Oh, hold on. There you go. Super easy to flick. So like, safe for some reason to actually use the safety. Maybe like when you're hanging out with the homies. Oh boy, zombies. Like super simple. Then you can flip it right off. Just a flip of the thumb. Um, again, ergonomics, I really like it. The rails are really cool too. Uh, I don't really use them for much, but they're cool anyways. Uh, Rival hasn't really attached or had any attachments recently, so that's kind of sad. Um, I will note this, right? Um, if you misuse this little jam feature that usually with others you can use to like, you know, double load or whatever. I found it to like almost break. Like I had to really force the trigger to actually get it to work. Same thing happened to my Kronos and it still works, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Let me get back here. Um, so what you notice it's weird is the front here will pop out um, when you prime it. Maybe that was a space thing because this is a very very slim, compact pistol. That's another thing that's very slim and compact. Uh, and it's very easy to holster it. You can holster it and then just, just pop in a mag when you need to. I think I like how they call it a mag and not a clip. I took it outside of the range and it was actually pretty good. Uh, great rival performance. As someone who's experienced what I would say were rival lemons, like, they wouldn't go very far. My Kronos doesn't go very far. Reliable standards. But this went, like, a good distance uh, past my Kronos, which is good. But, like, it'll probably go around the same as an actual Kronos. Uh, I'll probably use this in rival pistol battles, but I may also have to get some more magazines for it. Because that's, like, the beauty of this is that it uses magazines. And if you have a ton of magazines, super easy. Plus, I do enjoy... The, the loading here, but I feel like it's kind of a gimmick at the same time. Um, you have to k keep it kind of unlocked here, otherwise, you know, when it's in here, you can't really get a, there you go, it's kind of hard, you can't really get a full thumb on it. Um, and loading the ones at the top is kind of hard, you kind of just gotta force them in there, which can kind of cause some jams. Um, right now uh but yeah i do think it's a good gimmick and i hope it you know works properly like if people get a hold uh, you could, if people get a hold of the use of it it'll be good yeah overall positive review very positive it's nice design sleek finish great grip uh some sling attachment points here and here but yeah that's all i gotta say about the level finisher uh thanks for watching uh no fun drag out peace out